In this video, we discuss the advantage and usage of auxiliary relays. In PLC, we have different types of inputs and outputs and some other instructions. The inputs we already know it is represented with letter X, X0, X1, X2 like that. And similarly, the outputs Y0, Y1, Y2. In PLCs, we have internal memory bits. In some PLCs, we can call them as internal memory. In some other PLCs, we can call them as auxiliary relays. In this software, I will call them as memory bits. We can use these memory bits in our PLC programming. We already discussed we have to avoid the usage of double assignments of same output in different runs. So we can use internal memory bits. These internal memory bits are very useful when you are doing complex ladder logic programming. Sometimes we need temporary memory bits or registers to store the status of inputs or outputs and we have to use that memory bits in our ladder logic. Now we will see a simple solution using memory bits to avoid double assignments of outputs. So how to do this? So on the right side here we can see the correct way of using the memory bits to avoid double assignments of output. So what the program is here, my input x0 is there, it activates one memory bit m0. Similarly, input x2 activates memory bit m1. And we can use the status of outputs in the inputs. Either we can use status of output y0 in our input or we can use status of memory bits in our inputs. So here we are using m0 and m1 in parallel with the output y0. This is another way of doing it. We can do this in our ladder logic software. So go to the software. It is in run mode. So click edit ladder. Okay. Now take one input. X24. And take one output. Enter m0. I am using memory bit 0. Similarly take input x25 and take one output and assign m1 and now take one input. I want to use the status of m0 here. So click m0, enter m0 and select second line, open branch here. So click this branch open branch this is nc envo content enter m1 again select here click output coil enter y0 program is completed click convert and write to plc program is downloaded. When my input is x24 is on, m0 is on. So the status of m0 is used in input here. This as I am taken normally open content, when our m0 is activated, normally open content becomes close, nothing but on. Output y0 is on. If I switch on input x25 also x25 on m1 is also on the status of output is used in the input it is a normally open content so it also becomes close nothing but on the blue color represents on output is also on see one input is off still output is on because another input is also in on state i am making mg uh, x24 is also off so m0 is off, m0 is off, output is off. We can also use the m0 status with nc content. Click edit ladder, double click here, select nc, click ok, convert, again download. We have to download to the PLC whenever this logic is updated. See my m0 is in off state but I taken the status of m0 as nc content. The nc content by default it is in on state. Whenever the switch is activated the content changes its state. As it is normally closed it becomes open. See I am activating the x24. 
x24 is on so m0 is on the status of m0 we are using in the input side we can use envo contact or nc contact we can use any of the contact in m0 case i used nc contact m0 is activated it becomes open so output is off if i activate x25 m1 is on so m1 is on y0 is on these memory bits are very useful when we have complex ladder logic program or more number of rungs we have 10 rungs 20 rungs 30 rungs whenever number of lines are going to increase the complexity of the logic also increases so in this video we discussed the memory bits and how to use the status of outputs in the inputs we can use the status of output with a nc content or envo content as per our requirement i'll meet you in the next session